In the last video of our Real Estate in Germany series, we discussed five good options how to save for your future real estate purchase and touched on briefly that you should probably avoid the German Bausparvertrag. Germans love their Bausparvertrag. I know, my mom got one for me when I was a child. Thank you for that, mom. But Bausparvertrag sucks. The idea of Bausparn is great, don't get me wrong. It also worked well in the past, but not anymore. And I'm pretty sure that you will agree with me in about 10 minutes. So let's talk about all things German Bausparvertrag today. What's up everyone, welcome to a new Perfin Explains from Perfinex, the number one English speaking and independent financial planner in Germany. Today we'll sh Bausparn. Just kidding, we never sh anything here on this channel. Okay, maybe sometimes we do, but not today. Today I want to have an honest review on the German Bausparvertrag because we get many messages from you guys that you felt pressured by your bank to sign one of these without understanding really what it is. So let's bring some transparency into this so that everybody understands what Bausparn is before you sign up for it. And if you already got a Bausparvertrag for yourself, this video will help you to determine what you should do with it. Bausparn has a long tradition in Germany. Rightfully so, because the idea behind it is actually great. It's like a community that saves together for their real estate dream. Imagine you're looking to buy a property for 100,000 euros and can save 10,000 euros every year for that goal. In a world with no banks, it would take you 10 years until you can afford your property. That's quite a long time and by the time you have your 100,000 euros, the property probably costs a lot more than that. So wouldn't it be nice? If you find 9 other people that also want to buy a 100k property and save 10k a year for that. If you 10 people all save 10k a year, you can actually afford the first property after 1 year of saving. The second property in year 2, third in year 3 and after 10 years everybody would have their property. Of course it wouldn't work if everyone wants to buy a property in year 1. But nobody, except the poor guy that comes at the end, has to wait 10 years for their property like they all would if they save individually. Thanks to Bausparn, everyone can afford a property on average after 5 years instead of saving themselves for 10 years. Pretty cool, right? And the more people join Bausparn and the more people save with Bausparn, everyone can afford their real estate dream faster. So the idea behind a Bausparvertrag is actually great. Now let's come to the three phases of a Bausparvertrag before we talk about the pros and the cons. Phase one is, you smart people probably guessed it already, the savings phase. Because in Germany we say, ohne muss, nix los. Let me know in the comments if you have an idea what that would translate to in English. In the savings period, everyone who joined Bausparn saves kind of freely how much they want. Why kind of? Depending on your Bausparvertrag provider, there's usually a minimum of 4 tenths of a percent of your Bausparvertrag value that you need to save every month in order to contribute a fair amount like everybody else. So if you get a Bausparvertrag with a value of 100,000 euro, which is way too much, but let's talk about that later on, you would need to save 4 tenths of a percent, so 400 euros every month. Why that minimum? Because you getting a huge Bausparvertrag today, contributing almost nothing and getting a huge loan the other day wouldn't be fair towards everybody else who saves for their real estate dream, right? And during that first savings phase, you usually get a little interest on your savings. 0% to 2% depending on your Bausparvertrag provider and the exact Bausparvertrag that you have. After you saved about 30% to 50% of your Bausparvertrag value, again, depending on your Bausparvertrag provider, you reach phase 2, the allocation phase. Actually, you might reach the allocation phase. Why might? Just because your Bausparvertrag says you can get your money after you save 30 to 50% doesn't mean you really get your money. No, 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 no. Once you reach phase 2, you have to request from your Bausparvertrag provider that you get the payout of all your savings plus your Bausparvertrag loan. And then your Bausparvertrag provider will check your personal financial situation, like your Schufa score for example, 
So get your free Schufa if you want to buy real estate here in Germany. And your Bauspar provider will also check how many people also want to get their Bauspar loan. Because remember, Bausparen doesn't work if all 10 people want to buy their property in year one. So there is absolutely no guarantee that you will get your money once you reach phase two. It always depends on everybody else requesting their money. There's usually always a way to get your money, but it will cost you some pretty hefty penalties. Like you will probably get bonus interest if you could take out your money, but don't do it for the benefit of everyone else in your Bauspar community. <laughs> At least in theory. In reality, your Bauspar provider will probably cancel your contract before they pay you bonus interest. Once your allocation is approved, the last phase 3 starts, the Bauspar loan. As other people save together with you, you can get their savings in form of a Bauspar loan and pay that back with a fixed interest rate until your loan is paid back completely. That is one of the big benefits of the Bauspar Vertrag that it gives you a lot of planability going forward. So in the example of our 100,000 Euro Bauspar Vertrag, we would have to save about 400 euros a month for at least 6 years until we reach 30% or 10 and a half years if we have to save 50% of the Bauspar value and then we hopefully reach allocation phase 2. And then in phase 3 we have to pay back principal plus interest that usually amounts to twice of what we paid in. So up to 800 euros a month until our Bauspar loan is paid back in full. What do you think of these numbers? Of course they can all change slightly depending on your Bauspar provider. Let's just say the longer you save in phase 1, the longer you can take in phase 3 to pay back your Bauspar loan. And similarly, if you want a Bauspar Vertrag with a high interest rate in phase 1, your interest rate will also be slightly higher in phase 3. Now that we all know how that whole Bauspar thingy works, let's talk about some pros and cons. First benefit is that a Bauspar Vertrag gives you a lot of security in your financial planning. Once you sign your Bauspar, you will know exactly your interest rate in the savings phase 1 and your interest rate in loan phase 3 until your whole loan is paid off completely. And that's pretty nice considering the fact that we usually fix interest rates for only 10 to 15 years in regular real estate loans. And nobody knows where interest rates will be 10, 15 years from now. You can also get some nice government benefits when you sign up for Bausparen. There is Wohnungsbauprämie that you get with a taxable income of up to 35,000 euros or 70,000 as a married couple. Taxable income has nothing to do with gross salary. Check out this video with 6 legal tax tricks to decrease your taxable income. On top of that you can get Arbeitnehmer Sparzulage as part of your capital forming benefits. Check out this video for details. Or you can get Bauspar Riester Pension Level 2. All details. In this video. And lastly for the benefits of Bausparen, you can do additional repayment, Sondertilgung in German, in any unlimited amount without paying penalties. With a regular real estate loan you can usually pay up to 5% of the initial loan amount per year. Everything above that will cost you penalties. Not sure why anybody would want to pay more than that with the current interest rates, but hey, you do you. Coming to the cons of Bauspar Vertrag. As the Bau in Bausparvertrag translates to build, you can only use your Bausparn for residential purposes. You can buy a property with it, renovate a property, pay off other real estate loans and that's almost it. You cannot use the loan phase 3 for anything else. Very tightly connected to that point, a Bausparvertrag severely lacks flexibility. First, because of the residential purpose and second, because you don't really know when you can get your money in loan phase 3, right? Maybe you found your dream property, but your Bauspar provider doesn't allow you to enter loan phase 3. And then you have a big problem. You also have to pay quite some fees with a Bauspar Vertrag, usually 1% of your Bauspar value. Now fees are not that bad if you get something in return for the fees. Right? All you guys are happily paying about 10% in fees when you buy a property. Nobody complains here because a property can have a great return over the years. Check out this video with the deal analyzer that we did last week to calculate the return of the property that you want to buy yourself. Problem with Bauspan is that you pay 1% in fees but you get very little interest back. Maybe 0.1% if you're lucky. 
And that's a bad combination. Paying high fees and getting a low return. And exactly that point brings me to my personal conclusion on the German Bausparvertrag. It's not a savings product like bank salesmen or Bauspar salesmen are telling you. If you want to efficiently save for real estate, check out these five points. They are all much better and have a much higher return than a Bausparvertrag. To me, a Bausparvertrag is good in one specific case and this specific case only. If you know 100% that you want to buy a property in Germany and think that interest rates will rise a lot in the next 10 to 20 years. And by a lot, I don't mean 1% or 2% rise in interest rates, more like 3, 4 or 5% rise. If you believe both those things, then get a small Bausparvertrag with 10k or 20k Bauspar value, not 50k and not 100k, that is way too much. Only sign a Bausparvertrag if you believe those two assumptions. Everyone else can just save their money somewhere else and when it's time to buy a property, get your regular financing with a bank. Now if you have a Bausparvertrag already and are not sure what to do with it now, let's talk. And if you want to finance your real estate dream, let's talk as well. And we'll help you find the best deal with the more than 500 financing partners that we work with. Take care everyone and think twice before signing that Bausparvertrag.